In this video, we're continuing my journey to replace my big, clunky, George Costanza-like wallet with more of a minimalist or slim design. I've tried the Ridge, the Rossum, even an As Seen on TV Lock Wallet Slim. Today, we're gonna to be looking at another type, and this is by a company called Sermon. If you're new here, my name is Jeff, and this is Jeff Reviews For You. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing As Seen on TV items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at this Sermon Minimalist Wallet to see if it's any good. Let's unbox this Sermon brand RFID wallet that I purchased for about $30 on Amazon. You can see my color. I actually picked a, a green because, well, I just like green. All right, so it's in a nice cloth bag. That's pretty cool. It's continually wrapped in plastic. And now let's undo the paper that it's in. Ooh, look at that. It's a nice green color. It has like a tan stitching. Ooh, if we open it up. There's some more protection in there. I like the plastic. All right, so I've got a spot for my ID inside, and I like that. A money clip. I've got some spots for my credit cards. And look, I even have a spot here where I can do a quick access card. Very neat. All right, let me test this thing out, and I'll let you know what I think. First things first, we're going to check the RFID protection on all areas of this wallet. I like what I see first. This wallet tells us that it has RFID blocking technology. And as you can see, I'm swiping this card and it is red. Now we are testing the NFC, which runs on the same radio frequency. So let's slide that in here and see if it can still be detected. Ooh, pretty good. Let's try the other side. Wow, it absolutely blocked it. I'm very impressed. Now we're gonna try that same card on the inside. Let's just try the inside of the wallet, nothing. Outside of the wallet, yeah, this is absolutely RFID blocking. I feel as though I'm protected. I'm gonna slide my card into this area and now test that final spot. Now for the moment of truth, our card is in there. Let's see how it does. Oh, didn't detect it there. And on the inside, so far, I really like this wallet. I should point out in the true minimalist fashion, this only has two spots on the inside for credit cards, one spot on the outside, and then of course there's this quick release. So the idea of the minimalist is you're not carrying more than that many cards. It has a spot for your ID on the inside, which I love, and then of course a money clip, and they recommend not carrying any more than 10 bills. In a previous review that I did on these minimalist wallets, there was a comment asking to know the different weights of the wallet, so I'm gonna do that now. So first things first, we're gonna check out the weight of the Lock Wallet Slim. We can see that it's 31 grams. Now we're gonna go on to the Amazon recommended Rossum Wallet. Right there at 59 grams. Now we'll try the Ridge Wallet. Right there at 60 grams. And of course we'll try the Sermon Wallet, the one that we're looking at in this video. 50 grams. All right, so we can see that the lock wallet is the lightest, followed by the Sermon, followed by the Rossum wallet, and then of course, the Ridge wallet. Even though in this video, we are not testing all the RFID features of these wallets, you can check that in a different video. We knew that the Ridge and the Rossum both had RFID protecting features. The lock wallet slim does, but only if you use the middle section. And then of course, our Sermon wallet we found was RFID protected on every side. This is the wallet that I've been looking to replace. It's a typical bifold wallet. It holds your cards, your cash, your ID, um, but it was just too thick. So I've been looking for something smaller. I originally started out looking at this Ridge wallet, also the Amazon Rossum, which is a very similar um, minimalist wallet. This is made out of aluminum. It has a spot for your cards and you can put your cash back here. I didn't really like it because I felt as though my cash was unprotected and it was hard for me to cycle through my different cards in there. Well, then I stumbled upon the Sermon wallet on Amazon, which is also a minimalist design, meaning it doesn't have a whole lot of space for cards and it's small. And But in my opinion, this is almost like a hybrid between the two. It's not quite as big as this one, but it's not, definitely not as small as the Ridge one, as you can see um, by this profile. And then of course, the side. 
So tell me, what are your thoughts of these minimalist wallets? Have you tried them? Either the Rossum, the Ridge, the Lock Wallet Slim, or even one of these Sermon wallets? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I've been using this wallet now for the past two weeks, and let me tell you about what I like about it. Well, I've said it before, my ID's right there. Pretty sweet. I've got access to cards here if I need to. Plus, this is my favorite one. I actually use this even if I don't need it. I'm like, hey, you need something? No? Okay, put it back. Um, they say you should hold no more than 10 bills. I have eight bills in here right now. Of course, I had to borrow them from my son because I don't typically carry cash. But I, I don't think you have any problem holding 10 bills or more. Um, it just as bulky as you want it to get. The one thing I did notice is these card slots get stretched out. Like I've had two and sometimes three cards and maybe you're not supposed to do that. But when they do that, they you can shake them and these things just fall out. And that to me is worrisome. So if you end up getting this kind of a wallet, and that's the true with all of these leather wallets that get stretched out a little bit, something you definitely don't have to worry about with the aluminum wallets. Finally, let's talk about price of these four wallets because that's important too, right? So the lock wallet comes in at the cheapest and this one is $9.99. The next least expensive, it's actually a tie between the Sermon wallet and the Rossum wallet. They come in at right around $30. Now the funny thing is I purchased mine for 25 and when I went back later, it's up to 30. And then of course the Ridge reigns in at $90 for this wallet. In this video, I've been looking at a minimalist wallet by Sermon. I've compared it a little bit to Ridge and Rossum, even the Lock Wallet Slim. So what do I think of it? First things first is that price point, 30 bucks. I actually didn't mind it. My old thick clunky wallet I think cost me that much. Plus it was less expensive than some of those other minimalist wallets out there. I like the different features and card holders they have. Plus I really love that it holds cash on the inside and your ID on the inside. Those to me are very important. What didn't I like? Well, I didn't really like that after only about a week or 10 days, the leather on the inside started to stretch just by using two or so cards in those little pouches. That to me is frustrating. Um, if this is the wallet that you're interested in, I would just warn you, don't put more than two cards in there. Absolutely. Anyway, if this is something that you like, I will leave a link down in the description. I'll also link some of the other products that I looked at in this video. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. They do tell you you can move this money clip feature and really they they say you can just start screwing this out and the whole piece comes out. I learned that it's just a piece that you can actually just pull out, but they recommend screwing it as to not damage the leather. And then of course, there it is removed. Of course, if you wanna put it back in, you can just push it back in and there you go. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review where I looked at a minimalist wallet by Sermon. I compared it to the Ridge Rossum and Lock Wallet Slim. You know what? During this review, I also referenced my original review of my minimalist wallets, the Ridge Wallet and the Rossum Wallet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that right up here, and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at that review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.